Hi Taurus, welcome to your Week Ahead Horoscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign Taurus, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general reads. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, Light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So you've got the justice card this week as your key to the week, right? Now, uh, justice is very often about contracts and commitments where we have to sign on the dotted line for something, where we agree to something. Sometimes it's a verbal contract, sometimes it's a legal contract. It just depends on the situation for you. But this week you are being asked to commit to your commit yourself to something. And I kind of feel like this is in in like irrespective or irregardless of whatever the circumstances are. So this could be one of those times where you are being asked to sign up for something or to dedicate to something or commit to something and it's like well you know the conditions aren't ideal and it's kind of like one of those times where whatever you have available or whatever it is that you're getting you just have to work with what you have right now so you may not have the you know the opportunity or the um the luxury right to to change something about this commitment or about whatever it is that you're tying yourself to from here on in um it might just be a case of well you know what it is what it is so i'll do what i can right so whatever you're like this is you i guess the, the best way to explain this in in a way that is going to be sort of really understood let's say you've committed to the new like in the new year you've said to yourself right i am dedicating myself to uh to you know to getting fit to getting healthy but you know the world is crazy and there's another lockdown and i can't now get to a gym you made a commitment right you might not like the options maybe you don't want to do workouts from home maybe you don't want gym equipment hanging around your front room maybe you're not like me <laughs> right? um, and maybe you've decided that okay that doesn't work for you you still made a commitment so you're going to have to find a different way in order to fulfill that commitment to yourself or to somebody else and so like if this is to do with work let's say Maybe you had said to your boss, you know what, yeah, in the new year, I'm going to do this, this and this. And it's like now in the face of it, you don't have the tools that you were promised to do the job. You've still committed to it. And if you can make it work without those tools, you are racking up major brownie points for a later for a later date. I hope that kind of gives you an idea of how this might affect you on a personal level, because obviously I'm, you know, I'm reading for the collective Taurian energy here. Um, so... <clears throat> With that said, if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. Uh, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and this resonates, hit that subscribe button. For your actions and options, you've got that eight of pentacles. So for some of you, this very much likely is about your work. It's about what you're putting in. Interestingly enough as well, look at the, the image on there, right? And then think about the image on the... Um, on the justice card this is about balance right so it does suggest that maybe in your work or maybe in your professional sphere there is something that is slightly unbalanced or imbalanced at the moment maybe it's some other sphere of your life but it does suggest that you are having to put in more of yourself more of your time more of your effort more of your energy uh, maybe even more of your service right or even your devotion in some way shape or form it's like you're having to offset the imbalance with more of you and while at the time that might feel challenging hard or maybe even unfair um, don't let it affect you to the point where it stops you doing or giving what you know you can all right do that for now um, because you know and, and not just for the reward but just know that like it will definitely make its way back to you because the thing about the justice card um it's all about fairness and equality right and sometimes what we deem as fair uh, or we believe to be fair the universe may not necessarily agree right and it is bigger and it does know what no more than us uh, in in my humble opinion so just keep that in mind but this week it does look like you are working very hard on something for your communications and conversations you have the sun of pentacles you've got the knight of pentacles here as well um for some of you 
This is likely to do with travel that you had committed your time, your energy or your effort to. And it's kind of like one of those things where it's like, oh, now I've got to actually show up, right? Now I have to make this journey. Now I have to go and do this thing. Now I have to show up or maybe an invite that you accepted. And at the time, everything was great. And you were thinking, well, you know, I can do that. That would be, you know, it'd be awesome. And now all of a sudden it's here. And this week you're like, right, yeah, oh, <laughs> you know, like, crap, I forgot that, I, you know, maybe you've forgotten about it, but this week you are going to have to show up in some way. And it might feel hard, it might feel challenging, but it's nothing that you're not already up to, all right? Um, for those of you that are employed by somebody else, this could be as simple or as complex as your boss saying, right, uh, we need you to work at a different branch or, you know, we want you to do a blended sort of approach. So you're going to be working from home and you're going to be coming into the office. Um, for those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, etc., cetera, um, one of the ways that this might show up is maybe for some of you, you're having to relocate your business. Maybe you're having to work out some of the logistics of your personal life in order to fulfill whatever needs to be fulfilled when it comes to your work, when it comes to your business. Um, when it comes to those of you that have employees, this may be a week where some of them are out for any number of reasons. And I don't know why, but it feels like it's something to do with technology or something to do with whatever they've got going on in their personal sphere, which is more than likely, but you, you get what I mean. Uh, for those of you that are retired or no longer working, I mean, <laughs> This would be a really good time for you to start thinking about travel that enriches or nourishes the soul. It would also be a really good time for you to start thinking about what the next long-term goal is. Because at the moment, I kind of feel like you're playing around with something that you want to dedicate yourself to, but you're like, well, I kind of want to do this, but I'm not entirely sure if it's the real thing that I want to do, right? Um, Give it more time and thought because it looks like you're nearing a point where you will have to make a choice. For your love and relations, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So for some of you, for those of you that are partnered, married or in long-term commitments, either you or the partner are traveling this week. Um, there's something this week that suggests that you or the partner is not spending time at home because it's the Wheel of Fortune. It is a fantastic opportunity, whatever it is, wherever it is that you or they are going, really interesting because the Knight of Pentacles is a travel card um, and the Wheel of Fortune is definitely a travel card as well. So there's something where you or the partner are not at home this week or not spending time at home. Now, with this being underneath the Eight of Pentacles, there is opportunity here. There is a pocket of opportunity. Maybe the partner not being so present this week uh, means that you can really focus on your work. Maybe, and it's, this isn't a bad thing. This is actually very healthy in relationships. You know, to, to have your own friends, to have your own things that you do, to have your own, you know, time, energy, effort that you can expend on yourself because it enriches and nourishes you as people so that you can connect on an even deeper level. So this is this is actually good. This is time spent apart that actually really assists you or them. And it could be vice versa. Maybe you not being around or underneath their feet <laughs> really helps your partner to, to get something off the ground or to, to be in the right place at the right time. There's a lifting of obligations here somewhere. And I find it really interesting because this travel element is really, um, it's going to be really beneficial for, for, for everyone involved. For those of you that are single, if you are traveling over the course of this week or you're meeting somebody that is transient to your area, it does suggest that there is partnership, relationship. For some of you, um, I mean, yeah, for some of you, this almost suggests as well that maybe you are smitten with somebody that is uh, either from a very different background to you. Maybe you're meeting somebody on your travels or maybe you are, you know, maybe this person is on their travels through wherever it is that you live and you connect with them. There's just something very different about this person to whoever you've been connected to previously. And so it's like this really nice sort of dynamic between you. It, I'm intrigued here, very. Uh, <laughs> Raf all in other people's business. <laughs> I jest. Uh, now you've got the seven of Pent uh, the seven of swords for your money and materials. You've got this underneath the Knight of Pentacles. 
Um, the first thing that I want to say to you is when it comes to your car, uh, for those of you that have recently had your vehicles checked, I know you're going to hate me for saying this, but please go and get it checked again. I don't know why this could be one of those things like, you know, where you have an issue with a car, you send it in, you have it looked at, comes out. And then for some reason, like two, three weeks later, you have the same issue with the car. Um, my belief is always that they never actually fixed it. Or maybe they did. I don't know. <laughs> I should have a little bit more faith in people than that. But you, you get my point. This feels for me like a recurring financial issue to do with your car or your vehicle. Um, and for some of you, this might be a real bugbear at the moment. It's just like, the, you know, sometimes it's like the last thing that you need. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, the Seven of Swords is your systems, right? So uh, especially because it's underneath... Ooh, excuse me. <clears throat> especially because it's underneath the um, Knight of Pentacles, I would say that this is likely to be something to do with your skin, um, and or your nervous system, or it may be that your skin is kicking up fuss because something to do with your nervous system is out of whack. Um, look after yourself this week on the internal level and whatever external symptoms you have are likely to clear up. Please know I am not a doctor. I can't give you medical advice. I can just tell you what I see in my cards. <coughs> Excuse me. And when it comes to your um, home and environment, I mean, the Seven of Swords, because you've got the Justice card there in, as the key to the week, this almost, not almost, this likely suggests Seven of Swords, Knight of Cups, uh, Knight of Pentacles and the Justice card. There's two ways this could show up. One, uh, and it doesn't necessarily have to be you, this could be a car theft that takes place in your locality. Uh, two, this could also be... Um, the trashing of a vehicle by something that happens in a transient way, right? And a, a good example of this is, I remember one year, I think I was only about 10, um, there was like a high speed car chase between a police officer and something and the police car kind of lost control and went into someone's garden and completely totaled their car, like, and their own car, obviously, but it was like a whole thing, <laughs> you know? And obviously at 10, everyone was like, ooh, what's going on? Um, this could be something like that. I, I, you know, I touch wood, it, it, it doesn't happen. But with this combination, I've seen some interesting stuff happen. So just watch out for that. All in all, though, it actually just looks like a pretty decent week. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Uh, let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care, and I'll see you soon.